So I've literally been waiting all week to try out this new slide from Legion Precision. This is the first time that I've ever had an aftermarket slide that felt so much like OEM slide. It literally looks identical to the Gen 4 front serration Glock slides, except there's no markings on it and it has an RMR cut. So let's put some rounds down range. Let's see how it fares. Just so you guys can see the target. Target is right above my finger. It's about 40 feet away or something like that. Something to keep in mind though, is anytime you get a new slide that's freshly Cerakoted, it might have some few hiccups on the first few mags. Um, that is from the paint in the rails and you just gotta get that broken in again. So let's see what happens on this first mag here. Beautiful. First mag ever. Lock the slide home and no malfunctions. Let's get this camera situation squared away. So welcome back everybody. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're new here and you like reviews where the reviewer is not getting paid off just to say nice things about a product, then hit the little subscribe button down below. And for those of you who have been subscribed for a while, if you want to get to these reviews faster so that the products don't sell out before you get to the video, hit the little bell icon that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification when the video goes live. That way you won't miss out in case the products sell out within a couple of hours. I'm really excited about today's review because I have an aftermarket Glock slide that looks more like an OEM Glock slide than anything that I've ever held in my hands before. In particularly, it looks and feels identical to the OEM Glock 19 front serration slides that come with their Gen 4 Glock 19s. But this one will work is a Gen 3 slide and I have a trick so I, you can use it on a Gen 4 frame. I'll show you that when we dive up close, but you guys remember Legion Precision. You know, he has been working with us since the Polymer 80 frames came out and he was the first person that I know of that actually had completion kits for the Polymer 80 frame. So he kind of started realizing, hey, there's kind of like a disconnect with a lot of the Glock builds now that are going on, whether you're building a Polymer 80 or you're building an OEM Glock frame. The disconnect is this, is it's kind of hard to source parts and source parts from a bunch of different places. So <clears throat> he came out with this aftermarket Glock slide and you can have it Cerakoted in a bunch of different colors and you can get all the parts to finish a Glock build if you so choose. All in the same purchase. This thing has really surprised me. It runs really well, but what I like about it the most is you could put it on an OEM Glock frame and it looks dead sexy and looks just like it was made for this Glock, especially if you get it Cerakoted in black. With all that being said, let's dive up close. Let's take a look at this and let's just see if it's gonna be something that we like or not. Here we have it up close and personal. I have my Polymer 80 build here. Um, this frame I got from XL Weapon Works. If you haven't seen that build series, put a little link right up here in the corner. And then right here, I have my Gen 4 frame that has the Loki Tactical Slide, the TBRCI Comp, all kinds of other cool stuff that I've reviewed in the past. So if you haven't seen a lot of these videos, just feel free to search my channel. I have playlists for weapon lights, I have playlists for compensators, all that stuff, and all the different Polymer 80 builds, etc. But today, the focus of this, like I mentioned, it's really very, very similar to the OEM Gen 4 front serration slide, even the profile. So on the right here, I have my OEM Gen 4 slide. On the left here, I have this one from Legion Precision. And the thing that I really like about it is this curve right here. Don't get me wrong, I love having slides that have the chamfer along the top. However, it's really nice having something that's more minimalistic. So that's really nice. Now, what the cool thing is, is that these are Gen 3 slides. But the reason I have my Gen 4 gun out is I want to show you something. Hey, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put a link down below where you can pick these up. But basically, you can take your guide rod out. Voila. Now it fits nice and flush. But to answer a lot of your guys' questions is no, you don't need a Gen 4 slide to put onto a Gen 4 frame. Gen 3 works perfect. And if that little gap annoys you, you could pick up one of these slide adapters. And just to clarify, this is a Polymer 80. They, these are made for Gen 3s only. Cannot put a Gen 3, or a Gen 4 slide on a Gen 3 frame. There are ways to modify an OEM Gen 3 frame 
if you have a really good drill press to mill it all out, but I don't have access to that. But there isn't a way yet to really modify the Polymer 80s to accept Gen 4 slides, at least in a way that doesn't compromise the integrity of the frame. So with this slide here, let's get up close. You can see these front serrations. They look just like OEM on the rear and the front. On the inside, everything looks nice and clean and put together. I have my Polymer 80 Glock 19 barrel on here, and I have my Blacklist Industries guide rod. Um, if, you, if you're interested in these, there'll be links below. Um, on this one, you can choose to get these with or without an RMR cover plate. Um, this one got sent to me without one, and I got this dual illuminated Trijicon RMR on there. I don't like the dual illuminateds, so I honestly wouldn't buy them. I definitely prefer the adjustable LED models, and these can be had for around $350 for the Type 1s. I'll put a link below for that. This particular RMR isn't even designed for a pistol. It's designed to go onto an ACOG. See how hard that is to see? Like, you can't even see that reticle. That's crazy. Let's play with this focus and see if we can get that. So it's really hard to see, but that's actually a triangle reticle and it's probably like a million MOAs large. It's designed for rifles, not for pistols. I just have it on there to fill the gap until I can get an RMR cover plate. Now Legion Precision does offer cover plates. I just didn't get one. The coolest part I think about this slide, when you go to the page, pick out the slide, you can pick out the color or you can get it in stainless steel if you don't want to have it painted. And you can choose whether or not you get the slide internals. You can choose whether or not you get a barrel. You can choose whether or not you want a lower parts kit for a Glock build. And you can choose whether or not you want a lower parts kit with an Apex trigger or factory. I mean, there's a lot of different options. So basically, if you bought a Polymer 80 frame or if you have or if you have your own frame just laying around that you want to build up, you can buy everything from this one page. So that's really nice. At the range though, shoots like a dream. I didn't notice any types of cycling issues. So for those of you who are new to custom Glocks and things, you can have these running very reliably. You really can. Just something, just a word to the wise, whenever you have a Cerakoted slide, when it comes back from Cerakote, these rails might have a little bit of a buildup on the inside because it might be a little bit of a tight the action might be a little bit tight, but that's okay. All you gotta do is really just go to the range, put some rounds down range, 100 or so rounds, and you're good to go. And you can kind of help it by running sandpaper through it. There you have it. That's the Legion Precision slide. Let's jump up top. Let's talk about where you can get it, coupon codes, things like that. And then I'll give you my final opinion about this. So back up top, I give this slide a 10 out of 10. It has everything that I would actually want in a slide. There are a lot of great slides out there. Don't get me wrong. I know there have been some people in the past that have commented on the videos and they said, dude, like every time you get a new product, it's like your new favorite. And I, I'm not gonna deny that, but that's because a lot of these companies keep leveling up and making stuff better than it was before. And what's crazy is, you know, here in the past two years, the custom Glock market has exploded, right? And so, you know, a long time ago, yeah, you would just get a couple of front serrations put onto your OEM Glock slide and call it a day. And then what happened was the design started getting more and more extreme, you know, where we got stuff like this, you know, and there, I love stuff like this, but there's just something about that OEM feel on a slide. And I think it's been so long since I've ever even had a, a plain Jane stock Glock that I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic. So maybe that's the case, but you know, I think this is a great option if you have a Glock 19 and you've thought about upgrading your slide. You know, you just like, man, I really don't want to send my slide off to get it milled. I really don't want to pay for the shipping. I really don't want to have to have it Cerakoted. I like to leave it alone. Well, this is a fantastic option. Um, it's not the only option that's out there available, but it is a fantastic one. And when you get it and put it onto your, your frame, it's not going to look too crazy, you know, given you know, you put the barrels in it and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gonna start looking crazier, but it feels OEM, it shoots OEM. And I love the front serrations because something I've always wanted on an OEM Glock is front serrations. It's just nice to have. The main thing that I've been seeing in a lot of aftermarket slides is they don't have the OEM bevels, like I showed you up close, they have more of a squared off look to them. Or they have the chamfer that goes along the edge, which don't get me wrong, I love the chamfers, but this thing feels like it's bone stock and I kind of like that. Now, these are Gen 3s, like I showed you up close, and with the trick that I showed you up close with this little adapter that goes right here, you can use these on a Gen 4 frame with no problems. Now, these, these little adapters 
they're kind of expensive for what they are. You really only need one of these and you can just alternate it between guns, things like that. And you really don't even need that little adapter to run a Gen 3 slide on a Gen 4 frame. It just helps take care of that little gap that's right there in the front. And that way it's just not unsightly and things like that. And you know, it can have a more clean finish to it. Now, as always guys, none of these upgrades, none of this stuff is necessary but it is nice to have. So I've got a question for you guys. What other kind of content would you guys like to see this coming up here? You know, I got a lot of new stuff planned. Um, I have some instructional videos coming out for those of you who are interested in you know, doing YouTube for whatever hobby that you have. I have that coming. Um, I'll probably be putting that on a separate channel. I'll probably have to create that just because I don't want to mess with the vibe of this channel. And then I have, you know, some cinematic stuff that's more entertaining coming. Got a lot more builds coming. What else would you guys like to see? Let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, you know I gotta love you guys. And as always, I'm gonna tell your ass to stay sexy because that's what I do.